police, the police, the police. Well, what about the parents? What about the home? What you did, that was a false narrative. That was a, yes it was, it was a false narrative. Well, as you can see in here, this deadly shooting drawing impassioned reactions at today's city council meeting tempers flaring. Yeah, all of this playing out against the backdrop of changes council members are making to police policies. You want to bring in our Brendan Kirby now into this conversation. He's at the news center with part of the story. Brendan, things really got heated today. Yeah, that's right, Byron and Lenny. You know, there's a tug between the need to fight violent crime on the one hand and concerns over four encounters with police that turned deadly this year. But people on all sides of that debate decrying another innocent victim. We can tell fathers and families to raise your children. Tonight. Mobile City Council members and citizens alike expressing anguish Tuesday over the latest heartbreak. A nine-year-old girl guns down inside her own home. It's Mobile's 30th homicide victim this year. City officials expressed nothing but sympathy. A scumbag that's out there shooting into houses. Our police department is coming for you. Nine-year-old girl was killed this morning by somebody with an AR-15 rifle. Uh, that shouldn't happen in our community. We should all be outraged by something like this. It was the uh, number 30 victim of the year. Uh, a nine-year-old girl shot as she was just on the sofa in her home. John Young is a Mobile police sergeant, but he was speaking Tuesday on behalf of Men United Against Violence in Mobile. A nine-year-old black girl was shot in the head this morning. Where's the outrage? Young has been trying to change hearts and minds, pushing for parents to take greater responsibility for their adolescent children. He says it's not always well received. In fact, he says someone sitting behind him Tuesday called him a sellout. I'm a black man asking black men to stop killing other black men, and I'm the sellout. Let this piece make it on air. A black man asking black men to stop killing black men is a sellout? Young's public comments led to a testy exchange with Councilman Corey Penn, who interpreted it as an attack on his proposal to ban pre-dawn raids and no-knock warrants. Come and make a statement and say the council is only talking about the police officer. It's a lie. It's a, it's a, and I'm really disappointed. I'm truly disappointed. Councilman Penn says his ordinance would protect police as well as citizens. When you do those type of raids, it's, it's police officer could be killed. And so we want to protect the police officer as well as the citizen. And so this is not an attack on the Mobile Police Department. As I mentioned, this is playing out against the backdrop of police reform proposals. The Council's Public Safety Committee this afternoon hashing out details of ordinances related to police body camera footage and also to police raids that is expected to be voted on next week. Reporting live from the News Center, Brendan Kirby, Fox 10 News.